What's up guys, welcome to another video on the Boo Banter channel. In today's video guys, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different today. Some of you guys may know that I've spent a lot of time recently in isolation. And when I say a lot of time, I mean like seven months of isolation. So I would consider myself as an isolation king. So if you want to know more about that, just check out my previous videos. So I thought I would put together a little video for you guys about staying safe during isolation. The first one is a very obvious one, it's to wash your hands. You've been told this time and time again, but not to only just wash your hands, but to dry it too, because wet hands spread germs. Wearing rings? It's a big no-no. During this time you should probably remove them, because even though if you wash your hands, germs can still hide behind, behind and under your rings. Wearing fresh clothes every day. Even if you're just chilling out and your clothes are not technically dirty, it's still better off throwing them in the wash and putting on some new ones. Oh, perfect. If you have access to a tumble dryer, then you should use it because the heat of the tumble dryer will kill any germs. Hi. If you have access to a dishwasher at home, then you should use it. Because if you're rubbish at washing up like me, then you won't kill all the germs. But a dishwasher gets very, very hot and will kill the germs immediately. Try and eat foods that can be peeled. What I mean by this is if your fruit, fruit is out like this in a fruit bowl, for example, and you pick up an apple, you don't know where it's been and who's touched it. So try and eat stuff like banana or an orange, for example. So, yeah. I'm filming. The same goes for food that can be potentially touched by other people, for example, bread, biscuits or Pringles. Believe it or not, when I was in isolation at Great Ormond Street, there was a lady whose job it was to go into the kitchen in early morning and individually wrap slices of bread so no other germy hands can get into the bread. So my tip, top tip here, people, is to just not share the Pringles, I guess. Last but not least, takeaways. Now I know a lot of takeaway places are shut at the moment, which is really, really good. But if you were to get a takeaway, then try to go for something that's deep fat fried, for example, chips or if McDonald's is open, chicken nuggets. Because the deep fat fryer is very, very hot and any germs would have been killed immediately. Now is the time to learn something new. When I was at isolation, I learned to play the piano. Nowadays you can go on YouTube and search up anything. So give it a try. I know what's happening now is really, really crazy, but it won't last forever. Just follow the advice that I've gave you today and do things with your family that you wouldn't usually do. So ha enjoy it, have fun with your family and stay safe. I hope this has been useful for you all and more importantly, I hope you're all staying safe during this outbreak. I'll see you all on the other side. Peace.